Hi friends. So I just completed week three of clean keto and I must say, girl, I am feeling wonderful, wonderful. So happy with this week's results. But first, if this is your first time watching me, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Gia and I share my clean keto eating journey with you all. I've been sharing with you all on and off for the past three years of me eating ketogenically. And a few weeks ago, I shared that I gained all of my weight back, uh, all of this quarantine weight, just because of just stress and uncertainty. And I was just eating all of my emotions and I ate my way back to all of my weight. And so this has been my journey of me trying to um, just gain control back and start feeding my body with things that make me feel mentally good and physically good and to lose some weight in the process. So I would love for you to join my YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button down below as well as the little bell next to it. And for those who have been following me on this journey, I love you so much. So week three was popping i must say if this is your first time watching me i will leave a link for week one results um, in the description box as well as week two or you can tap this eye right here but yeah week three was really really great before i go into detail go ahead and watch all of the meals all of everything that i ate for that week and then we'll discuss afterwards happy monday friends good morning it is 11:06. i'm getting ready to break my fast i've been fasting for about uh, 18 hours the last meal i had was about 4:45 on Sunday evening and now again it is 11.06 I'm about to eat now this is my keto oatmeal that I made a couple days ago I'm gonna eat this for breakfast I don't like to break my fast with something too heavy <laughs> you know you want to break it just a little bit because you'll get a stomach ache so let me doctor this up I just make this with two tablespoons of hemp hearts a tablespoon of chia seeds and some flax meal a tablespoon the same stuff that I put in my smoothie and coconut milk. So now I'm gonna doctor it up. I'm gonna put the rest of it in this bowl. I'll add some more coconut milk and I'll show you guys once I'm done. I know it doesn't look pleasant and it does take a little bit of time to get past the consistency part of it. Now, if you're a consistency person where it's like, you don't like certain consistencies of food, I don't know if you're gonna like this chia. Um, the chia seeds, once they soak, it's like they kinda, get this consistency of like a, almost like a gelatin i don't know it's hard to explain but um i'm just adding a little bit of coconut milk to loosen this up and then i'm going to add my toppings all right friends here we go so i put half drop of, uh, half a dropper of liquid stevia in here you can put any uh, sweetener of your choice in then i have some strawberries blueberries unsweetened coconut flakes and a few almonds this is the unsweetened vanilla coconut milk it's my absolute favorite very clean good high fat and i get this from target this is very good once you get past the consistency part it's like a treat to really have all this stuff in here it's very filling lots of high fat in here good fats from the hemp hearts and the chia seeds you know you can do a lot of different things with this you can put um cinnamon in it you can warm it up and eat, um, eat it hot this is cold i like mine cold but you can eat it hot you can um, put cinnamon in it. You can put a little apple spice in it if you want something like, um, I don't know, kind of like more savory. This is more on the sweeter side with the berries and the unsweetened coconut um, flakes, but you can make it, definitely make it savory. There are just lots of different things that you can do. So, you know, I suggest you at least try it. Try it a couple times. Try it making it a, a couple different ways before you just cancel it. Because I know at first when I looked at it, I was like, I don't know if I can do this. But <laughs> I've gotten used to it now and I really, really like it. All right, y'all, so I'm about to eat, drink my Bulletproof coffee. It is 12 o'clock. Um, and to my Bulletproof coffee, this is 10 ounces of coffee. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of um, MCT oil, a couple drops of liquid stevia, and of course, my vanilla and sweetened coconut milk. And then I will froth it all up. Here's my coffee. Now, I like to add a splash of heavy cream because I like my coffee not too dark because it's tough on my stomach. So I'm gonna add a slash, a, a dash of cream, just like a little bit and it'll lighten it up a little bit. There we go. So I'm gonna mix this up really well and drink this. And that is concludes my first meals of the day. All right y'all, it's 4.58 I'm really hungry at this point. I'm gonna make myself like a tortilla wrap. So I have these chicken skewers that I bought from Costco. This is my first time trying them. Super easy. I just warmed them up in the microwave. I have two here. They have three net carbs. 
three carbs in two skewers. So I'm gonna take the meat off the skewer, put it in my low carb tortilla, and I'll show you once it's all wrapped up. I mean, this looks so good. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna wrap this up. I put a lot of spinach on there, but basically it's just blue cheese, blue cheese crumbles, onions, cucumbers, tomatoes, and spinach. So I'm gonna see if I could try to wrap this up. I don't think I can though. Nope, I'm just gonna have to eat it like this, <laughs> and that's fine. Right now it is 5.05. This is my last meal for the day. I don't feel like I drank enough water today though, so I'm gonna try to chug like two um, more Yeti cupfuls. It's my 32 ounce Yeti, so that I can, um, I don't know, feel hydrated. Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. Um, it is 11.06. I'm getting ready to make my breakfast. I have four eggs here. I'm not eating four eggs, so I'm going to eat two. But then my girls want some eggs as well. So even though they already had breakfast, <laughs> they just want eggs because I'm now eating. I'm going to just scramble my eggs like normal in some butter. And then I'm also going to and a slice of cheese. I'm also going to have some hard salami. I like to fry these up as well in the pan. And then I'll probably have some fruit with this as well and that's gonna be my breakfast. Okay, let's have a quick egg lesson. Can you tell which two eggs are the yummy pasture raised eggs and which two eggs are just your normal organic store-bought eggs? So if you guess that these two are the yummy pasture raised eggs, you are right. The darker the yolk, the yummier the egg to me personally. Um, that's why I feel like it's just worth it sometimes to just get the pasture raised eggs, especially if you're going to be eating them every day and you want it to taste good. That's why I like to get the pasture raised eggs. I'm going to use the eggs that I have in here, but I'm going to try to buy pasture raised. Your best bet is to find a local farmer and just buy it from your local farmer. It's cheaper that way because the pasture raised eggs in the store are very expensive. I used to do that, but unfortunately the guy, he lost like half of his stock of chickens because I think of, um, a wolf. I, I, I can't remember, but he doesn't sell them anymore, unfortunately. Unfortunately, so it's like oh, I gotta go back to eating store-bought eggs But like I said the darker the yolk the better. So now I'm going to go ahead and scramble these up. All right, y'all So here's my breakfast. I got my two eggs Strawberries and blueberries. This is two strawberries cut up and a small palm full of blueberries and then seven salami pieces So here's my breakfast. Okay, y'all it is 12 on one. I'm gonna have my bulletproof coffee I have 10 ounces of coffee here. I changed it to 10 ounces. I don't know I just felt like the 12 ounces was too much. I'm adding my unsweetened vanilla coconut milk you know, sometimes if you want more of a sweeter taste, you can also add cinnamon or vanilla extract. Then a dash of heavy cream just to lighten it a bit. My liquid stevia, and of course, the star of the show, which is my one tablespoon of MCT oil. Here we have it all mixed up here. Everything I use, I try to link in my Amazon store in the description box. You can go there to see like this mixer, some of my favorite keto products that I sell on Amazon. So, okay. Time to enjoy. Hey y'all, it is 3.16 and I am really hungry. So I'm going to make my smoothie. I just took the shrimp out to thaw. I'm gonna make my kids and stuff lunch and then hopefully I'll be able to eat no later than six o'clock tonight. Okay, it's smoothie time. Sorry the TV's so loud, my kids are watching TV. Okay, I have my spinach, my sugar-free unsweetened coconut milk, uh, chia seeds, hemp hearts, Black seed meal and frozen strawberries. So let me go ahead and show you how it all looks like together. That's about how much spinach I have in there and coconut milk and then three strawberries. I'm gonna add a little water to thin it out. About that much. And now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of chia seeds, a tablespoon of hemp hearts, and a tablespoon of flaxseed meal. I just thought of something. If you wanted to keep this thicker, don't add the water, and then you can put it in a bowl and kind of eat it like cream. Let me see how this consistency looks, and then I'll tell you what I'm talking about. All right, so this looks pretty liquefied, so I can drink it, but sometimes I make it and it's super thick. If it's like that, and you're like a consistency person, you like your smoothies to be more water, you can add water, or you could pour it in a bowl and like eat it like a porridge or um, oatmeal or something like that, and you can add toppings to it like almonds or keto granola or anything like that. So I'm just gonna pour this in a cup and I'll probably grab myself a few almonds and that's gonna be my lunch for today. These are the almonds I'm about to have. A nice smoothie. Time check, it's 3.34. All right, y'all, so I'm really hungry. <laughs> Actually, it's 5.26. Um, you think I'm angry, babe? <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm hangry today. But anyway, um, so I'm making like a spinach and mushroom, not spinach, broccoli and mushroom white wine, creamy white wine sauce. Um, I'm making my family pasta. I'm making myself some zucchini noodles. This is one small zucchini here. And then our, my shrimp is thawed out even though I didn't thaw out enough I don't think 
because this is for me hubby and Ava but we're just gonna have to make it work girl I wasn't thinking when I thawed this out but we'll make it work because we have like the mushrooms and the broccoli as well so let me go ahead here I'm chopping up my mushrooms I'm um, just sauteing my broccoli because I don't want it to be too hard we like a little crunch to our broccoli and to this pan it's just butter olive oil um, salt, pepper, and garlic. Okay, Happy's making pasta. I'm making the sauce here. I have my shrimp seasoned with uh, salt, pepper, garlic, and Old Bay. And so I'm gonna go ahead and brown this in the same pan, then add my um, oh, wow. Pinot Grigio. Okay, I have about six ounces of Pinot Grigio here. Now, yes, it does have carbs in it. I think it has like four or five grams of carbs in this glass, but I'm not gonna be drinking the entire sauce, you know, so I feel like I'll be fine with that. I'm also gonna add some chicken stock and heavy cream to thicken up the sauce. We like a lot of sauces in our family, so I'm gonna thicken up the sauce, and then the last thing I need to do is saute my zucchini noodles. Okay, just poured the white wine in, the Pinot Grigio. It's what I like to cook with, it smells very good. So I'm gonna let this cook for a little bit. I'm gonna add the chicken stock. I'll probably add a tablespoon of cornstarch. Now, before someone comes for me, well actually not someone, before the keto police come in the comments and say, cornstarch has carbs. I know cornstarch has carbs. I do not plan on taking the entire tablespoon, okay? I just, I'm adding one tablespoon to the entire sauce. Okay, so let's, there's probably at least four helpings in here of um, the sauce I would say by the time I'm finished so it's like um, it's not going to be the end of the world okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now okay, I ended up putting say a quarter cup of um gosh I can't even think sorry a chicken stock in here and then a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream which is making the sauce a lot lighter um, and then I did the tablespoon of cornstarch and water mixed together and so this should thicken up within the next few minutes just bring the bringing it to a simmer taste the sauce because you may need to season the sauce to your liking our pasta is ready and i'm getting ready to saute my um zucchini okay sauteing my zucchini noodles and just butter i'm just putting garlic and pepper on there i wait to put the salt on because the salt is going to draw all that moisture out and it's going to make them really watery so i just wait to do that right before i plate i literally only do this Ooh, sorry i'm steaming up for a couple minutes i like a little crunch to my zucchini i don't i don't like them too soft as a matter of fact i'm about to turn the eye off right now and get ready to serve up everyone's plates this this sauce by the way tastes delicious i tasted it, it tastes really good that's ready to go um so yeah okay so here's my meal it's really it looks so good i'm just gonna add a little bit of parmesan cheese on top Oop, it's hot <laughs> oops it's a lot but anyway i'm ready to eat time check it is 606 good morning friends Happy Wednesday. It's 10.45 and I'm really hungry. I woke up really super hungry today. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat breakfast now. I've already cut myself up um, or have a small bowl full of berries here. It's just three small strawberries and like um, maybe less than a quarter cup of blueberries. And then I'm gonna eat this keto granola as like a cereal. I just feel like I want something that's crunchy this morning for breakfast. I'm gonna add hemp hearts and chia seeds to it so I can add my fat in. And I'll probably add a little whipped cream to my berries, just, you know, for a nice sweet treat. Y'all, oh, this smells so good. Oh, it smells exactly like you would think cinnamon and pecan smell like. Almost like a holiday feel. <laughs> but if you want something crunchy, girl, it's so good to have this on hand. I've had this, their granola before. This is my first time trying the cinnamon pecan. But they have different flavors um, that you can try. I will link them in the description box from my Amazon store. I'm also going to add here some hemp hearts, a tablespoon of hemp hearts and a tablespoon of cheese seeds because these you just get your good fats in with this. And you have a good amount of fat here in this low carb granola as well and fiber. Here's how it looks with the chia seeds and hemp hearts. It's just one tablespoon each. So I'm now gonna just pour my coconut milk unsweetened vanilla coconut milk in and enjoy this bowl of cereal you can add toppings to this if you want like you can put your berries on top i did that last week you can put unsweetened coconut flakes let's see almonds but this is how i like it time check it is 10 50. all right y'all it's time for my little treat now i ate my cereal that was so good very very filling love the crunch 
now I'm gonna eat my little breakfast dessert. Y'all, I'm so out of it. I was so tired that I literally ran my water. Tell me I'm not the only one. And just did not have a cup underneath there. Like seriously, what is going on? It's 12.45, I really need this coffee, girl. I just, I mean really, look at how much coffee is in there. That's just for me forgetting to put the cup. All right, friends, so I'm about to make myself a blue cheese chicken wrap for dinner. Right now it is 516. I wanna go ahead and eat. This is a really quick meal. First of all, I get these pre-cooked skewers from Costco. They were on sale, huge pack of them, and they are so quick and easy for dinner. Or if I need to eat something that my family, the rest of my family is gonna eat something different and I need something, some sort of protein, this is great. They're seasoned well, they taste really good. So I warm these up in the microwave. I'm gonna take them off the skewer, like kind of just shred it off the skewer and put it in my wrap. I have some toppings here. I have some holy guacamole, three net carbs in one whole pack of this, but lots of great fat as well. Some tomatoes, onions. I have blue cheese crumbles and my blue cheese dressing and then my low carb tortilla wrap. And I'm also gonna add some spinach. Let me go ahead and put it all together. I love this blue cheese dressing from the grocery store. I'm kind of like a blue cheese snob. My favorite blue cheese of all time is the Cheesecake Factory's blue cheese. I love this blue cheese, it's really good. So I spread a little bit on the bottom here. Then I'm going to add my chicken that I took off the skewer um, and then crumbles on top. Um, but this blue cheese is really, really good. I cannot begin to tell y'all how hungry I am. It is one o'clock, I've been out all morning long, grocery shopping and making Lysol runs. So I need to break my fast. I'm gonna have a few almonds to, to just break my fast first and then I'll probably make myself some scrambled eggs and bacon. Okay, change of plans. I'm just gonna have some cereal because we're gonna have a big dinner tonight. I decided to make like surf and turf steak and shrimp and everything. So I'm just going to have my keto granola with some chia seeds and hemp hearts and that's it. Okay, so this is the third cup of the nut granola. Uh, two tablespoons of hemp hearts, one tablespoon of chia seeds. And now I'm gonna pour my milk in and enjoy this food. Time check, it is 1.27. Y'all, I'm hungry. It's 3.19, I'm gonna get ready to start cooking at four, but I'm, I just need a little snack. So I have a piece of cheese here. I have my low carb bread that I got from Costco literally today. And I just wanna try it. I'm sorry, the packaging, it's like, it comes with two loaves. There's three net carbs and one slice. It comes with two loaves. The other loaf I put in the freezer. And this loaf, I just am gonna leave out, put in a Ziploc bag. But yeah, I, I need to try this. Cause I'm like, I just really wanna try it and I'm hungry. I'm going to toast it, uh, put some butter on it, and then have a few slices of cheese and that's gonna be my snack until dinner. And I use my normal um, fixings <laughs> for Bulletproof Coffee, MCT oil, vanilla, unsweetened coconut milk, a dash of heavy cream, and then my liquid stevia. All right, y'all, it's 5.45, I'm starting my Steaks a little later than I wanted to. I have my shrimps thawed here. These are ribeyes that I actually sliced in half to thin them because they were super thick I bought from Costco. I'm going to do a reverse sear on them. That's my favorite way of making steak. I'm gonna season it with some Montreal steak seasoning and a beef bouillon, powdered beef bouillon. I have my oven preheated to 275. Let me season them and then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, got my steaks all seasoned. I'm gonna put them in the oven. 275 for about 20 minutes. These are thinner, so we don't, I don't need to keep them in there as, as long. I like my steak medium well, but since I'm cooking it for my family, I'll probably be medium well, closer to well, if that makes sense, but not definitely not dried out and definitely not overdone. So let me get these in. I have my fresh broccoli here that I'm sauteing in butter, olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic. This is gonna be our side. If my girls, I'll probably, I have some leftover spaghetti noodles that I can warm up for them to have as a starch, as opposed to me like making mashed potatoes. I don't even have any potatoes anyway. But um, so yeah, I'm sauteing this. Steaks are almost done and I'm getting ready to saute our shrimp. I just took my steaks out. Now I'm preparing the shrimp, but I'm going to use a cast iron to get a nice crust on them. And I'll show you that when I'm done. I'm melting my butter. I'm gonna add some minced garlic in here and I'm almost done shelling all of my shrimp. Okay, I got my shrimps, all the shells off, and I put a little avocado oil in here and seasoned it with Old Bay. My butter and garlic is looking really good. Now, to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of white wine and chicken stock so that I have more of the sauce and then I will put the shrimp in and just let it cook itself. Now, before the keto police come for me in the comments, know that 
I it was just a splash of wine I'm not gonna drink this entire sauce so I'm fine with the carbs that are allocated in that it's not very many it wasn't much wine I'm gonna let this simmer a little bit and then I will put the wine in. I mean, I'll put the shrimp in. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna have to do these two at a time, but I'm going to, I'm gonna do three minutes on these chefs because I don't want them to be too done. Super hot cast iron, I got my vents going, and I'm gonna get a nice sear on both sides. I'm not gonna touch it once it's down. My shrimp is looking good at this point, looking really good. Once they turn fully pink, I'm just gonna cut this off and let this sit here. Okay, I'll probably add some parsley to make it nice and green, but I don't have any fresh parsley. I'll have to just be dried parsley, but this is looking good. You don't want to overcook your shrimp because then they'll get really chewy. Um, but just enough to get to make them pink. And then these will be done. So that'll be time to eat. Oh, look at that beautiful brown on there. I'm going to probably do two minutes on this side because I really do think these are done. So I'm gonna do the two minutes and then I'll do the last two and then it'll be time to eat. I cut my crimp off now because these are all the way done. Gonna let these sit. My broccoli's done and I'm about to warm up my kids' noodles. Oh, these are beautiful. Beautiful. Here we have it, y'all. I'm going to enjoy this meal. Everything came out really, really well. It's the extra steak that we have. My husband and I will probably have it for lunch tomorrow or something like that. But this meal is mm -mm -mm. time check it's 6 38 hey y'all sorry filming from my phone happy friday grand rising right now it is 10 39 i have not had anything to eat i'm going to go ahead and start drinking my coffee um because i had to take my sister somewhere this morning so i'm gonna go ahead and drink my coffee now um and then i have a few almonds in my purse to hold me over until i get home all right y'all it is 2 27 and i'm just now eating literally all i had was my coffee that i showed earlier and a few almonds like um i'd say a quarter of a cup of almonds and that was it so now i'm home i want to make myself a nice salad i have the leftover steak that we had last night it was so good y'all I cannot tell you how good it was. So this is half of the steak. I'm chopping up and I'm gonna make myself a nice blue cheese steak salad. I'm gonna slice some onions with spinach. I'm gonna slice some onions and put on top and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and get that together and I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right y'all, so here is my um, steak spinach salad. Again, it's just that cut up half of the steak, several handfuls of spinach, some red onions, blue cheese crumbles and blue cheese dressing. This is my favorite blue cheese dressing that I use. One net carb in two tablespoons it's very good all right time to eat all right so it is a little bit after eight o'clock and i'm hungry my family's having chipotle but i didn't want to have chipotle because i don't know i just didn't want it to be too heavy so i'm gonna make myself a low carb pizza with just using a low carb tortilla instead of like all that dough i just don't feel like having that in my stomach so i'm gonna make a quick pizza i like my crust to be crunchy if that makes sense not too crunchy but i like a firm crust so i'm gonna bake this in the oven first 400 degrees for like a couple minutes um, i'm gonna rub some avocado or olive oil on this on this first and i'll show you what i'm talking about okay i brushed some olive oil on this and i'm gonna put it in the oven for you gotta watch it like maybe after three to four minutes then i'll put my toppings on okay it looks really good it's getting kind of hard which is what i want now i'm gonna put my toppings on all right so i have cheese spinach broccoli a few slices of onions fresh tomato and pepperoni this is gonna be my pizza. I'm gonna put this in the oven now for another three to four minutes. All right, I have my crispy crust pizza here. I'm gonna let this sit for a second before I cut it because it's super hot right now. But this is what I'm gonna eat. Time check, it is 8.29, so it's kind of late, but that steak salad I had really filled me up. So I just made my girls some s'mores and I want a dessert too. So I'm gonna have some of my keto ice cream. I haven't tried this one yet. This is peanut butter and fudge. I got this from Aldi. I'm gonna let this sit out. You guys advised me to let it sit out for five minutes first because it, it was really hard for me to scoop it out. It was like chipping up, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna let this sit out for a minute and then I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, here's how much I have. I taste a little bit of it. It's definitely more peanut butter than chocolatey, but I'm not mad at it, girl. I'm really not. This is how much I took out. Not even close to a third. And so I'm gonna add just like a little bit of whipped cream and this is gonna be my treat for tonight. I know, time check, it's 9-12, I know. But I won't break my fast until later on. Plus it's Friday, right? I made it through the week. It's perfect. Happy Saturday, friends, grand rising. I'm super hungry this morning. 
for some reason. I didn't think I would be since we I ate so late. I mean, it was very light, the pizza that I had. It wasn't um, incredibly filling. Right now it's 1044. I'm gonna go ahead and eat because I'm just listening to my body. I just have my keto granola, which I love so much. I'm gonna have to order myself another bag. Two tablespoons of hemp harps, one tablespoon of chia seeds in here. And so I'm gonna just eat my cereal with my unsweetened coconut milk. And then I will drink my bulletproof coffee afterwards. Okay, bulletproof coffee time. It's 11.02. Gonna make it my normal way with one tablespoon of MCT oil, a dash of heavy cream, unsweetened vanilla coconut milk. I get a lot of questions asking where I get this. I always find it at my Target, my local Target, and then liquid stevia. Also, this is 10 ounces of coffee. I find that, I don't know, I just like making 10 ounces better than 12 because then I can't mix it in my cup here. I have to use my, tall, uh, my taller coffee Yeti. So I just have 10 ounces here. Hey y'all, it's been a day. Okay, I'm finally sitting down to eat. I've been literally on my feet all day. It is 6.01, I have two hot dogs. Very little relish, because that has carbs in it. A little bit of regular ketchup. I don't have sugar-free ketchup, I'm at my mom's. Nice juicy burger and my keto bread underneath with mayonnaise, yum. Good morning, grand rising, happy Sunday. It's 10.34 and I'm so, so hungry, y'all. I was on my feet a lot yesterday. I have not eaten anything since you last saw, I think it was six o'clock. But like I said, I'm really hungry. I got these eggs from Walmart and they are so, they look so good. That deep um, yolk, oh, you know it's gonna be good. And they had this little card in there. But these are ethical and edible. They're pasture-raised eggs. Let me see if I can show you the carton. It was a good buy at um, Walmart. Pasture eggs, Vital Farms. It was like pretty cheap. It was less than $5 for the dozen, which is a really good price for pasture-raised eggs. So I have a couple pieces of bacon. We only have like three pieces of bacon that are left that are thought out that my husband and I are gonna split. I have eggs for us. I'm gonna have a, a piece of keto toast. I don't know, should I have the keto bread now or should I wait? I think I'm gonna have the keto bread now. And I'm probably gonna have some cereal, girl. That's how hungry I am. So let me go ahead and start making my eggs. And here we have it. I have one and a half pieces of bacon. I have, and that's the Applewood smoked bacon from Costco. One piece of my low carb bread that I got from Costco. It only has three net carbs and two scrambled eggs with salt and pepper. Yummy. Time check, it is 10.51. Girl, I am hungry today. Okay, I have my keto granola in here. I only did a quarter cup this time. And then one tablespoon of chia seeds and one tablespoon of hemp hearts. I just wanna get my healthy fats in, make sure I get it in. I'm gonna add my signature, you know, my staple unsweetened vanilla coconut milk, and that's gonna be that. And then I'm going to eat, drink my bulletproof coffee and then I'm not gonna eat until it's time to eat dinner later on today. This is how it looks all mixed up. Sometimes I have to add like a little bit more coconut milk when I'm like halfway done eating it. I know it looks crazy, y'all, but it's so good. I don't have to add any sweetener or anything to it because the keto granola is just sweet enough. For me, with the um, unsweetened vanilla flavor, this is really good. All right, Bulletproof Coffee time. It's 11.14. <sighs> I'm just going to enjoy this coffee. Hey, y'all. So it's 4.09. I'm getting ready to make some chicken to take over to my mom's. I'm making some baked chicken wings i didn't separate them because i just wanted to keep it whole i did a few that were low sodium for my mom and here in this bowl i'm putting all the dry mixtures together the one key thing to making your uh, chicken taste like it's fried with that skin is to have baking soda so the white stuff is baking soda and what i'm going to add is just my favorite seasoning of all time some smoked paprika mmm smells so good salt pepper and garlic and regular paprika and onion powder mix it all together toss them in this dry rub and then i'm going to bake them in the oven 400 degrees for 20 minutes and flip them for another 15 minutes or so i'll just keep an eye on them and see um and then we're also going to have salad i think and corn on the cob which is over at my mom's so let me go ahead and finish okay so i also have a pack of chicken breasts that i'm going to do the same thing to i just have to clean the chicken breasts and dry them off and everything but i'm going to season them the exact same but i'm going to pan fry them not deep fry but just um like kind of saute them in some avocado oil or not avocado oil, oil olive oil but the chicken wings are going to take a little while in the oven so i'm going to wait 
because you know after the 20 minutes before I flip them is when I'll start these chicken tenders. Okay, so I got my chicken tenders going. Again, just the baking powder, lots of smoked paprika, salt, pepper, garlic, and regular paprika. And I'm getting ready to flip over my wings. This is how they look after about 20 minutes, y'all. They look so good. It smells so delicious in here. So I'm keeping the oven on. I'm just flipping this. I sprayed this, hoping that they wouldn't stick. I'm gonna flip this over here and I'm gonna eyeball this. I'm not sure if this is gonna need a full 20 minutes. Oh no, this one's sticking. I didn't spray that part very well. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna look at it. It's hard to tell with wings because it's not like you can really stick a thermometer in there. I don't wanna overcook them because they will dry out, you know? So I'm just going to look at them after about 15 minutes and see. I think that they'll be done by then. Maybe 20 minutes max. Um, we'll just go from there. Okay, chicken's all done. I just cut off the oven. I just eyeballed them. A couple minutes on each side. You don't want to dry them out. I like there's like a thin crust over the chicken breast. Uh, this would, these were boneless, skinless chicken tenders, and I season them the same way with the baking soda, salt, pepper, garlic, smoked paprika, regular paprika, and onion powder. So now I'm going to get ready to transport these to my mother's, and it'll be time to eat. All right, so these are ready. I'm gonna close this foil up and then pop a top on. These look beautiful. Timer is going off. So we are ready to eat these. I'm gonna package these up, get over there and eat. I think this is an amazing keto fried chicken dupe. Of course you can cut these, bake them the same way and then you can toss them in some sort of keto sauce like a buffalo sauce and then make yourself some like blue cheese dressing to dip in it oh there's so many different things you can do with this base recipe you can season it with whatever you want to season it with with the baking soda add it in i'm i'm just really happy with the way it turned out yummy it's time to eat this is sauteed zucchini and mushrooms my mom made and the salad and the wings oh. it's 6:25. All right, so that is everything that I ate. So a couple of things I wanna talk about first before I show you my before and after pictures and everything and tell you how much weight I lost. I definitely ate way too much red meat this week. Um, I ate too much red meat. I could tell I ate too much red meat. I felt really heavy. And to be honest with you guys, listen, we're sisters, we're in this together. I was backed up. Okay, your girl, it, was, it just backs me up when I eat too much red meat. Even though I was really trying to get my chia seeds in and my hemp hearts, which are good healthy fats and, they, and have lots of fiber in it, kind of get it going. I also did not eat, drink my smoothie at all last week. I've just been obsessed with my keto cereal, which is my keto granola, the hemp hearts and chia seeds that I drink um, or that I eat with the uh, coconut milk. I've just been loving that lately and I wasn't getting enough greens. And I recently watched a video of Dr. Berg on Instagram talking about really how many, how many greens that you should be eating every single day for those macro and micronutrients and just for the overall health of your body. He's really my go-to person for like medical, you know, research and medical advice about eating ketogenically. And I just realized that I was not, I did not get enough greens last week. So I'm really gonna try and focus for week four to get those greens in because you know those five pound like tubs of like spinach that I get that I make my smoothie from, or you can get mixed greens or whatever. He said that you should be eating half of that every single day. So he has like a huge salad for lunch and then a huge salad for dinner. And you know what, I think I might try that, eating like Dr. Berg, cause he shares uh, like what he eats in a day, but I wanna try maybe eating like him for a day and see how that feels, how that makes me feel. I mean, I don't know, I just, I just did not realize that that's how many greens your body really needs. And I'm not even getting close to that. That was an interesting. So I'm really gonna try to focus for next week to eat more greens, more and more greens. But yeah, I didn't eat my smoothie as, as, as much and I, or at all, and I had too much red meat. So I'm gonna cut back on the red meat for this week and I'm going to increase my greens intake, whether that be with my smoothie or just eating more salads, more, more, more salads, cause it's just, you need a lot of that for all those nutrients. So that was interesting. That was the big takeaway for me for this week. So let's go ahead and look at the before and after pictures and then I'll tell you how much weight I lost. All right, y'all, here we are, start of week three. 
I feel like I can see a little bit of difference. I had to adjust my straps, which is a plus girl. I take every win, okay? I get excited for every win over here, even the small ones. So I had to adjust both of these straps a little bit so it may look like my boobs are up a little bit higher than <laughs> they normally do, but I feel like I look great. I feel great. Yeah, I'm doing really, really well. I'm excited. So let me go ahead and do my stance here. My stomach is definitely coming down. Um, I feel like my butt's getting a little bit flat. I don't want to lose that. People pay money for this. I don't want to lose that, but I feel great. All right, let's get the full body shot here. My thighs are coming down a little bit. You yeah, know, so here I am. So can you guys tell? I don't know, I can't tell until I see the edited video with my starting video and then my current video next to each other before I can really tell. I mean, I could tell a little bit, but I don't know. I, I need to see them side by side to really see the difference, but okay. Are you ready? So for week three, I lost a total of 4.6 pounds, yep. Can you believe it? I'm so excited about that. Again, you know, my number one goal with this is to have that energy that I need to get the things that I need done, that energy for myself and for my family. But it is also a goal to lose weight um, and just to be at a healthy weight for myself and you know, just have that mental clarity. So it's not, I'm not heavily focused on weight, 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 but it's more or less like, okay, how am I feeling? How did my body react to this this week? And the weight loss is just an added bonus. You know, I, you know, want all of us to feel good about ourselves. We're all beautiful. We're all unique and we're all sexy in our own way. Yeah, I'm excited with that. All right, so just for a recap, week one, I lost five pounds. Week two, I lost 1.4 pounds. And um, week three, I lost 4.6 pounds for a total of 11 pounds altogether. 11 pounds, that's like huge. I mean, I know the majority of that is water weight and it takes some time. I'm, I'm not expecting to lose that much weight every single week. I mean, week three was a total surprise to me. And I know my body's still flushing out all that sugar and processed food that I was eating during, you know, before I started this. And so I'm not expecting to lose that much weight going forward. So, but I'm excited and I'm, I'm pumped. How are you guys doing? I know a lot of you guys don't eat ketogenically, but you're trying to eat healthier, your version of healthier or whatever makes you, fuels your body and gives you that energy. How are you guys doing? Are you getting results? Whether it be like you could tell that you have more energy or you can tell that you have that mental clarity or you can tell that your mood is just better. I know for me, my mood has just been a lot better and I have more patience with my family um, and myself. So I, I'm really happy with how my body reacts to eating this way. So like I said, leave a comment down below and let me know how you're doing. Let's encourage each other on this journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.